Is this us? Quentin, I got you a snuggie. Let's keep you nice and warm for when I knock your ass out. <laughs> He ain't did nothing but woke up the beast. I'm glad you did it. A motivated rampage is a dangerous rampage. And you're going to have the most dangerous rampage that's ever been in your face. And it's real. As fight night inches closer, both Rampage Jackson and Rashad Evans face a critical week of camp, but obligations beckon both in and out of the gym. I got something that makes me want to shout. I got something that tells me what it's all about. I got soul, and I'm super bad. Today begins with a media call for both fighters, a prelude to the looming face-off. Good day and welcome to the UFC 114 media conference call. And we'll go next to Neil Davidson, the Canadian press. We will start with you, Rampage. Have you fought anybody before that you disliked as much as Rashad? No. <laughs> he's, just, he's just real fake. Yeah, real cocky, you know what I'm saying, for someone who, who really ain't really done much in the sport. Hey, I was a world champion, bro. World champion. And I got that belt from somebody that beat you. Where's your belt? <laughs> Where's your belt? Where's your belt? Where's your, yo, wait. Where's your belt? Where's your belt? You okay, don't belt. you don't got nothing. Hey, you don't got nothing either. And my question is for Rampage. Being that you've been out a while, sometimes that can be a uh, detriment, but it can also be advantageous. First of all, why are you always using the big words like that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Hey, Quinn, stop playing stupid all the time. You act like you're stupid. Don't act like you're stupid. Man, shut the hell up. Why perpetuate the stereotype that you can't think? You know what I'm saying? You can't. You don't, you don't understand big words. You can't read. All that stupid stuff, man. Hey, I do what I do. You do what you do. Why you act all cocky and act all fake and be playing with your nipples? You put on a minstrel show. All your yes or bosses. Yes, yes, bro. Yo, that's funny. Ha, 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 funny. You a clown, dude. You a clown, dude. Play with your nipples. Wear them little tight, girly, nut-hugging ass shorts. Why you do that stuff? Hey, I... That's me. That's me. That's what I wear. That's what I wear. All right. Ne next question. <laughs> Thank you. Ne next question. Thank you. That's all he can do is talk. That's all he can do. Ta next question. All right, guys. Uh, you know, you have so much animosity towards each other. Um, you know, the John doesn't seem to stop. After this fight, do you think that's really going to put that on ice? No, I think that, to be honest with you, you know, and, and they'll pro both probably deny it right now, or maybe they won't. I don't know. I think they both respect each other in ways, but they just don't like each other. Listen, you can respect a guy's game and his fighting style and what he's going to bring to the table that night. Doesn't mean you have to like him, though. What do you think about that rampage? Man, I'm a grown-ass man. This is a sport to me. This is this how this I get paid. But this is the first time I'm actually going to enjoy uh, beating the hell out of somebody. You know what I'm saying? He's sleeping on me, man. I think he's, he's underestimated me big time. You know, not giving me credit for nothing. Oh, you didn't really have a belt. You ain't never done nothing. I'm glad that's what he was thinking the whole time he was training for me. Because it's hard to push yourself to train for somebody that you think ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. So he's saying he's pushing himself as hard as he can. That dude ain't pushing himself. Talk, you can talk. People may laugh and think you're funny as hell. Ain't nobody can help you once those doors close. Where we go, Quince? The job. Everything's going to plan. Your heads and his legs go to f***ing jelly. Whoa. I'm very, very confident about this fight. Very confident. <laughs> his speed is up, his power's up. Backhand, dude, backhand! Got a lovely whip on his shots. Come on, run again! Run again! 
I'd like to see Rashad live with that for five minute rounds. Hold your back hands! Ah, 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 oh there! If he hits him with one of them, it's good night, Vienna. Good night, Vienna. To be quite honest with you, God help Rashad. With just a few days of training left at Grudge, Rashad is fine-tuning the final fight plan. On the agenda this morning is striking with Muay Thai master Phil Nurse. I'm here to test him. This is a fight. This is his career. This is where he's going forward. I'm not here to baby him at all. That's it. Focus on him. I always test my speed against him. And if he can keep up with my speed, I know we're, we're in the game. This week's expanded core of trainers also includes Jonathan Schoenberg, here for a final scrutiny of Rashad's fitness. I'm about to get my ass whooped. Trying to kill me. Kill, 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 kill. When you walk down that tunnel and it's just you getting to the octagon, you start questioning, did I put on all the work? Did I train hard enough? Am I in shape? Am I ready to go? I think Rampage is going to have to question, you know, has he trained hard enough? Did he put in the hours? Did he take it serious enough? Dead. Dead. If your work is not done right now, then you might as well go home because you, you can't make up extra work the, the final week of, of training camp. Rashad right now, I mean, just I just see a guy so focused on the task at hand. He's gonna be a monster on, on May 29th. The ice bath is basically for recovery. Sitting there for about 20 minutes, and it just basically just makes my body just feels rejuvenated. This water will be about 40 to 50 degrees. The body's gonna shunt a bunch of the blood to the core. So it pulls all the lactic acid out of our muscles. This helps with swelling as far as also like muscle recovery. Oh my God. Just breathe, breathe, breathe. Just show them how you gonna breathe, you know? See, Rampage couldn't do nothing like this. No, he'd be crying the whole time. He would never do anything like this. Well, see, whatever. I don't do it like that. I just do the ooh and no. Rashad chose to do an ice bath. Rampage chose to eat a buffet. All right, you good. <laughs> With the days winding down, the pace ratchets up. Rashad's workouts are shrinking in duration and growing in intensity. Every detail of his training tailored to peak on Saturday night. Run him down, run him down, run him down. For this fight, I'm in real good shape. T and Van, they pushed me more than I've been pushed for any fight. You know, I feel good. I feel like I can go, you know, 10 rounds. Rashad's fitness level right now is at a 10. I'm not too worried about anything Rampage is doing. He could be doing anything. He could be pushing buses. I'm not scared of that. Hard. 